Hey guys, okay, I uh, got a bunch of new information, so I'll start back two days ago. The uh, sisters of Eve were in me all night, and all night I dreamt about sex. Sex all around me in the dreams, all kinds of sex. I didn't touch any of it. I'm like, keep this snake pit away from me, right? I wake up 15 times. Every time I close my eyes, just sex. She was in me. And it was all about, she wanted me to have sex. She wanted me to find what I like in the snake pit, in the dreams. And she wanted to know that. Because she wanted to use what I like for me to dream about it, to have an experience in the dream of having sex, and they, they take that experience, okay, she wanted to experience it, because that's what she does, she experiences through the human body, but also Christ would use my sexual experience for people that can't have sex. So imagine you're paralyzed from the neck down. Ain't nothing working. You want to know what sex is. You're horny. Christ is in you. Every night you go to sleep, you want sex, you're going to get it. It's all spiritual. It's not physical. It's spiritual. You're going to have sex. Not with me. Just my experience. Okay? Christ will take my experience and you'll have sex. That's the way Christ you bring in Christ consciousness and you're horny, Christ will give you sex dreams. And they're pretty fucking real. Smell, taste, everything. Well, I mean, just generally. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, that happened. And I, I woke up. Um, let me see. Then this Christ starts going off and all this wheat stuff. Wheat, 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 wheat. And, uh, he goes, he goes, and I was bitching because I don't like all the people watching me have sex in my dreams. So when I'm dreaming of sex, I got two kids, my wife, Jesus, and a bunch of looky-loos that I've never met. They're all sitting there, right? They're all sitting in fucking heaven, looking down, watching me have sex. Christ is in me, giving me the dream, but Christ is also with a hundred other people, and a hundred other people are all watching me have sex. I hate it. I don't want Jesus to see it. I don't want my wife to see it. I don't want my kids to see it. And I don't want all these foreign looky loos watching me get off. I can't stand it. So I said, no more. That's it. No more. I'm a Christ now. I've been through it. I'm done. That's the one thing you ain't getting. Sorry. I go, there's six fucking billion people on the planet that fuck everything from fucking cars, goats, everything. You go to one of them. I've had it. There's people that screw automobiles, just to let you know. <laughs> anyway, I like boy-girl sex, that's it. That's all I like. Um, and he's going off, he's going, but we need it for people that are paralyzed and they can't have sex anymore. And I'm like, I get it, but you ain't getting it from me anymore. I've been to, I've had 50 Jesuses in seven years. And they all recorded sexual experiences with me. I'm done. I go, go to one of them. Get the file. You're all supposed to be one big unit of love and Christ consciousness. Well, I go, there's 50 porno videos out there. And each Christ has got his own set. I mean, you get it from him. I'm done. I'm out of it. And in the dream, I know. In the dream, when I'm in a snake pit of sin... Well, to me it's sin, but whatever. Christ says almost everything goes in Christ consciousness. You can have sex. Almost everything goes. Now, what he meant by that was almost everything goes. You can take it from there. I ain't breaking it down any further. I ain't into goats and fucking animals and shit. Anyway, this is what Christ says. Almost everything goes in Christ consciousness. I'm like, well, that's nice. And he's trying to, you know, get me to... And I'm like, you know what? I ain't doing it anymore. I'm tired of it. 
I can't have sex when there's fucking 15 people staring at me going, ooh, ah, we. No, man, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So I don't do it in the dream. And I know this is what's happening in the dream. I know it. I can feel them all staring at me, so I don't do it. And they all get mad at me because I don't, I don't get off in the dream. I get horny, but I don't do anything in the dream. I don't touch anybody. I'm like, nope. Yeah, it's a real dream, and I know. I'm conscious in the dream. I'm not stupid. Anyway, I wake up. Chris is going, we need the wheat from the chaff. We need the wheat from the chaff. And I'm going, what the hell are you talking about, wheat from the chaff? He goes, the wheat. And I go, the Anunnaki brought the wheat. And he's going, what? I go, the Anunnaki brought wheat. And he goes, yeah, when they created us, they brought the wheat, you know, for beer and food and shit. And he's like, what? <laughs> I got the Anunnaki, the Agigi, from Planet Nibiru. Come on. He's like, oh, okay, that stuff. He goes, yeah, yeah. I go, yeah, you don't like that. You don't talk about that. Um, then, hot, just to make it real short, the wheat from the chaff, the wheat, he said, the wheat is life's blood. And I go, oh, what the hell does that mean? He goes, purity. So, and wheat from the chaff is essence from the body. So you take the essence from the body. For me, they love sperm essence from your nuts. They love that. They make drugs out of it and everything. That's They tried to do that to me too, but I wouldn't have it. And they go, wheat from the chaff, essence of the body. And the whole wheat thing. Wheat is like... Wheat is life's blood. And I go, what does that mean? And he goes, it means purity. You can take it from there. Okay. Um, then the hockey game came on. We won. It was boring. Um, no, we lost. Sorry, it was last night. We're, we're up. Yesterday at lunchtime, I went to sleep. Um, I'll go back to him. No, oh, that was this morning. Yesterday, I went to sleep and I was working on a Satanist video there, Lucifer video, and a whole bunch of stuff came up about that. And I was And this is after the, uh, I woke up from that and I went to put the boxes in, the boxes in my chest where I closed up my skin, these boxes, and I go, where's the boxes, no boxes, and he goes, the, all the 16 boxes, you're back in the 16 boxes, and I'm like, okay, and he goes, and he goes, crib key, crib key, and then he's saying crib key. My wife's going, Crip Key, Crip Key, you're the Crip Key, we got the Crip Key, we got the Crip Key. And my kids are going, Crip Key, I'm going, what the fuck's a Crip Key, right? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Crip Key. And they're all talking, they got the Crip Key ready. And they go, well, when you go back into the illusion, we got the Crip Key, and we're going to lock you in. And I'm like, well, all right, whatever. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I didn't even know that existed. but So I think when you're born, all the skins, they put all the skins on you. They magically come, they come, they lock you in the illusion, and they lock it. That's the crib key. Now, I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning, and it was pretty good. I had, uh, I had the cone. I released a whole bunch of cones, and the voices went away. I brought, I had a bubble. I released the bubble. I had my soul, the clear spot in my chest. I brought, sucked it back down, and then I did that, and I closed up pretty good. But and uh, I'm, I'm thinking I just gotta keep doing this until the voices go away, right? And uh, so that's where I was, and went through the morning, finished my uh, Lucifer video on the music there, if you've seen it on Facebook. And then I went to sleep at lunchtime. I had a dream where I was. I had a dream where I was airbrushing. You know the speed racers, 
on bicycles at 18 speeds and they're in France and they're all racing real fast and they got them long ass helmets that go way back well I was airbrushing uh, a, a bike helmet that goes real fast and I put eyes right where the guy is right and then I put like some stuff I put red eyes right where his face was and then I put fire and sparks going all the way back on the long helmet you know how it sticks out and I put like fire and sparks on it made it look real cool and I'm looking at him going yeah 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 and all of a sudden the dream went away and there's this lady and she's right here right in my third eye look at me right in the eye like this and she goes Ratch. I go what? And I go she goes just separate she goes embrace the illusion it's time just do it just separate and I'm like I would but I don't know how and she goes she goes you can do it right now and I'm going but I don't know how and she goes you can do it right now and I'm like I can't see the difference all I see is white all I see is you guys she goes, you're right there. You're right there. And I go, well, I, I got rid of a bunch of cones this morning. She goes, it's the same thing. And I go, but I don't see any cones right now. And she goes, she goes, you're in the cone. You got one cone to go or one or two cones to go. Just separate, separate into the illusion. Now, separate. And all of a sudden, Christ, she, she sort of leaves and there's Christ going, you're leaving now. <laughs> and he goes, I go, well, let's do it, man. He goes, Dick. I go, I don't know what the hell to do. And he goes, just shut up and lay there. He reaches in, he grabs my heart, well, the soul, the heart, all that good stuff. And the cones, is like a cone on my head. And it comes down. Now, when you're in the cone, it's like, and you don't see nothing, right? They see you. They see you half in the cone, okay? They can see the cone around you. But when your perception, your mind is in the cone, you're seeing in the spirit world. Well, and I saw in the dream, the dream I had while I was in the cone, I'm laying there and I'm standing in a doctor's office. Christ is standing there talking to somebody, but the somebody was me. Christ is talking to somebody, another guy over there about medical stuff. And I'm hearing the whole conversation. And they're both looking at me, and I, I'm like, what the hell is going on, right? And I'm a little kid standing in the doctor's office, and the doctor was Christ. And he's telling him what's going to happen. And I'm like, oh, man, this is freaking me out. And it's a doctor's office, chairs, I think, fucking doctor. And, you know, black thing around, you know, little black things, the shit, it's the stuff they throw around your neck. Anyway, the doctors have around the neck. Anyway... He goes, oh, yes, you are. So he reaches into me with his hands, and his hands are like giant hands to me anyway, because I'm looking, and his hands are in my heart, and he goes, and he squeezes, right? He goes, now, let the cone go. And I'm, I go, I don't see it yet. And he goes, you will. He goes, just hang on. And he's like pulling it. He's going, he's, he took the world I was in, and it went like this. Imagine uh, like a flower around you, a cone flower, and the flower went like that. And I could finally see the cone coming from my heart through my head. And I could see him disappearing in the world, the cone world. And it was, going, it was sucking my head up like that. And all of a sudden, he went like that. And I, I, I started chanting, Christ, let me go, let me go, let it 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 go. I, something like that. I was chanting, let it go. And I could feel it going pulled out of me. And all of a sudden it went black. And then there was another cone. And I go, there's another cone in my, near my spine area. And he goes, don't you worry about a goddamn thing. And then he, he, reach, he grabs it like that. And he takes the cone and he goes. And, he, and I let it go. I let the cone go and sort of like tighten up into my heart. And all of a sudden the cone slipped away. I felt the cone slip away. And the blackness came. And I don't know, no. As the cone slipped away, I looked up and I could see a light in the blackness. But it wasn't black. It was all ripply. It was all ripply. Okay? And then, as I look up, there's a hole. I look up and I see a hole. 
and it was like blue, black, dark, dark blue, and it was all ripply, and the whole thing started going, turn it like this. The whole, and it was a plane of existence where they were, and I'm looking up at the hole, and I let it go, the hole went like that, but the whole, like the surface of the water was spinning like this around. The whole surface of the water was spinning like this. And it went, and my head went, and it was like, and I go, I want water. <laughs> and then the blackness went, it just tightened up right in my whole, down my spine and my heart and my brain. And I was like, when I'm just like an egg, I felt it. The, the, when I let the cone go, it went sucked in so tight. And I was like wrapped in a body, a, a, like a, a skin of an egg. And I'm looking and soon I just, that surface where the light was, the hole, it disappeared and everything was just black. Energy went, <laughs> showed my head. In the energy, I could hear them talking from, and it felt, they sounded like they were all, I was underwater. You know when you hear people talking and you're in the bathtub and you put your ears in the bathtub and you can hear the whole apartment building talking, they're all going, <laughs> right? It sounded like that, but really, really quiet. And I'm like, holy fuck. And I, go, and I remember that the hole, I remember the hole. And it proved my fucking theory. And it wasn't a theory, it was fact. Because I had past experiences where I went to the light. And I'm in the blackness. And the light opens up. Alright? The light opens up above you. And the light's coming through. And I look up into the hole. And you go up into the light. And all your friends are looking in the hole going, Come here, come here, you gotta come here. That's when I died in the past life. I had that experience. Now I'm closing up my ethereal skins and I'm awake laying in bed. Christ comes, reaches into my heart, closes the cone. The cone goes into a circle. And as the cone is released, it goes And as the cone's released from my heart, which is being pulled out of my heart, that level, that level that they're on. And I could hear them going. I could hear I, the other Christ. Oh, by the way, I'm in Oceanside now. That's another reason. Um, a town called Oceanside in the spirit world. Well, it was anyway. <laughs> I could hear the energy, this Christ, that was taking care of me for like a month from St. Lucian. He goes, Jesus Christ, it's happening now. I gotta come. And he comes running over and he goes, what's going on? What's going on? Where's he at? And, he, and the other Christ goes, where you got him? He's going. He's going today. That's it. I don't care. And all of a sudden, the, the, the light circle went, and I'm like, and I go, I'm floating in water. And he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, yeah, back in your mama. Like that, right? And I'm like, whoa. And, and he goes, yeah, you're floating in water. You're being born again. Or born or something. And he goes, shut up and don't talk. <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't talking. He goes, you're talking to me now. I'm like, oh, okay. And so it, it got more quiet, more quiet, more quiet. And the blackness came in. Uh, tighten me up. I can barely hear anybody. I can hear them in the energy a little bit, but I, as soon as I release the energy, no more voices. Freaking me out. And he goes, now you're back in the illusion. And I thought, wow. Wow. Now, when you die, and you're dead, and you leave your body, whoop, and you're dead, and your body is dead, you're going to look up and see a light. That's the cone in yourself. And I fucking been telling you, for, I'm sorry guys, not, not you specifically, but I'm telling people, your inner light, your inner spark, your innocence, is that. It comes down to the spark and lights it up. You look into yourself, you're in the cone. The light goes you got to bring the light to your head. Just keep the damn thing closed. Don't go to it. How cool is that? And you go, and Christ goes, now you're back in the illusion, and I got the crib key. 
and he goes, just keep sleeping. And we'll, we'll, if goes, anything happens, we'll fix you right up. He goes, we'll close you right up again. We'll keep doing it until you're normal. And I'm just going, wow. So I'm back in the illusion. I can hear a little bit of chatter. I don't know about the looky lose yet. They lock me in the illusion. It was a trip. Now what happened was the day before Christ had to do Christmas stuff. He's getting ready for a big Christmas dinner and everything. And he had to get rid of me because he couldn't have me around. So he sent me over to Oceanside which I haven't been to for a long long time. You see me over there? Yeah you're looking real good. So anyway he uh neighbors you open up a window and they're all, they'll come out and look. They get, they think I'm postulating in front of the window naked or something. Anyway. <laughs> they sent me to Oceanside and that was at lunchtime. By 7 o'clock, the hockey game came on and we were playing Tampa Bay Lightning. We outplayed them for three periods, 49 shots on net to 21 or something. We outplayed them, we outshot them, but their goalie was Bruce Lee. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Couldn't get it in the damn net. Three periods, it was in their end. But they came back, we, we lost, put one in our own net by accident, stuff like that. But we know we can beat them, so that's good. So anyway, what the hell was that? By the end of the first period, they were shipping me back to St. Lucian. Because my, I, my soul is swearing, you fucking rough. My spirit's going, they started. And he's like, yep, yeah, screaming. And there's about 2,000 grandmoms that are trying to sleep in Oceanside. So they got rid of me the end of the game. Then after the game I ate some supper and I fell asleep. And I stayed at Ocean Side because you know I don't care anymore. I'm not excited about anything. It's like and I, I made the Satan video. So anyway, the Lucifer video in that music video. So I'm closed up, I'm back in the illusion. It took me seven years. I'm still not done. I think I gotta tighten up over and over again. Releasing it, releasing the cones and stuff. But Christ said I'm in the illusion. And he locked me in. Now I ain't messing with nothing. I am not going to try to talk. I, my innocence is still rambling on. And I can hear them all talking. And I saw about five faces. And as I was going to bed this afternoon, I was talking. I was making jokes and was swearing to my family. And they go, don't talk. Don't swear. There's people watching you. I'm going, why are they watching me? I go, forget about it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of important people watching. So, oh, and they said that I was in the news when I heard them as I was going down the hole or releasing the cone. They said, you're in the newspapers here watching everything. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I couldn't focus on wanting to talk to them. I just had to get the hell out of it. And I just kept letting it go. Just let it, just like your heart opens up and goes, and you just let it go. And that's what I did. But the whole best experience was when I went and it closed up, and it was like the water was spinning on top above me, and the water surrounded me. And I heard, I told Christ, I'm under, it sounds like I'm under the water. It feels like I'm under the water, and I can see the surface. And he goes, he goes, yeah, you're going, it's sort of like being born, isn't it, in your mother? And I'm like, whoa, that just freaked me the fuck out. Because, you know, the water before birth, the water breaks in your mom, and you're, you come out of the skin thing, the skin sack. Well, it felt like I was in a skin sack in the water. And I was curled up on my bed, like, just like a baby, man. And uh, I'm looking up at the hole, and I remembered the hole. Like, I willed myself to go to the light, just for exploration. 
and I went to the light. Up, I went up into the light. Then in meditations in my past, three times. And as I got to the light, the love and compassion grew. And then this guy, this black form, stops me. And he goes, he doesn't say nothing. I just couldn't get past him. Wherever I went, he went. I couldn't get in the light. And I, got, I came back to my body, and I'm all pissed off. So basically, I was actually traveling in the light. But actually, I wasn't actually traveling at all. I was just looking into myself. Which is when you look into yourself, outside of yourself, in the spirit, you're looking up at the light. That happened three times, plus a near... Plus, I, re I re relive my past life, which I gotta make, and I died. I'm in the blackness. I heard people screaming at me from above. I looked up, and all my lo what, all loved ones were yelling at me, "Come to the light! Go to the light! Go to our voice! Go to our voice!" And they're all screaming at me, "Come, come!" come. And this is where my wife came in from a past life. The reason I went, broke my skins, was all because I missed my wife. I missed her so much, and when that spirit went through me, brought me to her, and there I was with her in the spirit world, with Jesus. Seven years later, in insanity and everything, I finally healed myself back up, and they said, and, that, and they said, this is a miracle, you're like the first one to ever do it, consciously, with Christ, to do it, and I'm like, well, in Christ, everything that happened to me was recorded for seven years. Everything that happened to me was fucking recorded down to the T for the next person that ends up like me. So, guys, there you go. That's how it works. Don't go into the light. You probably can't anyway. But you can talk to the light. Talk to the spark. The spark is your mom. Don't talk to it with your mind. Talk to it with your heart. Think to it, and you'll get answers. Voice it, and you put it into reality. I gotta make a detailed video of this stuff, but for right now, this is an update of 20 things, 20 things that happened to me in the uh, spirit world in the last two days. And awesome stuff, guys. Blew me away. And there's probably more gonna happen. So... Um, I'm seeing in the Christ with Christ, hanging out with Christ all day, seeing his house and his stuff. It's all recorded, I can remember it. The whole story. And I can make some more videos about that, experiences and stuff. But as for new stuff, I'm so, I'm totally out of it. I ain't there anymore. I am not perceiving there. I'm perceiving it back to normal Richard. <laughs> There you go. Got 50 seconds left. Okay. So, later guys. Just thought I'd give you that update.